I want to tell you what I think is great about this group of wines. This is Rosemount, and what they have done recently in the wine world is amazing. They first of all changed the shape of their bottle. The, the wine is still a cla in a classic wine bottle, but they took that wonderful diamond uh, logo that they have and they put it on the bottom of the bottle. And it's magnificent. It makes this beautiful bottle so architectural and so amazing to keep on the table during the meal and ready for guests at any time. The other thing about it is this, that they have the most wonderful classic wines like a Shiraz, like a Cabernet, that are fabulous in the taste category. They are as good as any very, very expensive wine, yet they retail between $10 and $15 a bottle. Actually, Eric, can I get you to help me open a little wine? Is it good? It really is. Yeah, yeah. It's spicy. It's really nice. <laughs> I want to talk about color. I started this plan, as it were, uh, with what I had in the refrigerator, which were a few mangoes and some oranges and grapes. I threw in the bay leaves because that was the, the one thing that felt earthy that I had. So I pulled these colors in with the napkins, and you see that there, this is total gold thing running down the middle here. And what that did was it allowed me to bring a lot of color to this table. Okay, so. now I made my favorite salad, radicchio, arugula, and uh, endive, which I'm going to Thank you. I would never think to put this pattern on this plate, but it looks great. Jackson Hole is great. D did you go this year? Jackson. How was it? My favorite form of light on the table is very simple. It's these really wonderful votives. And you can see that it, these happen to be green. Uh, it, the truth of the matter is they don't have to be a color. They can be white. Uh, but the most important thing about the votives is that I think you can't have too many of them. And, uh, and you can do so many things with them. If you use multiples, you can have a straight line of them. You can use them to accentuate what you've done on the table, which is what I did. I feel that the mangoes here and the, the oranges and the grapes have this sort of Della Robbia feel to them. And so to actually wind the light through the table, to me, made sense at the time. It felt sculptural and it felt you know, round and wonderful, and I think that's a fabulous way to approach it. That's delicious. <laughs> but I think what you do is you interpret it in, in, a, in a beautiful way. I didn't have much time today, so I just took what I had and turned it into what I could. You know, you, you think of a centerpiece in an organic way, meaning that you pull something together that's really fabulous. You can always use a sculpture, you can use something that's personal to you, you can use anything you want, but make it uh, set the tone so that you can work around it from there. You use these very inexpensive vessels, this, uh, the, a round and a square, it's very simple. I had a samosa, I put it in the bottom because I felt we needed some earth with it. And uh, as a result, I think it's a gr it really started the tone of setting this table. Thank you. Thank you.